What is going on guys? Thank you so much for tuning in back to the channel. Today we got a great, fun, and easy install that just about anyone can do. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what it is. Boom! The GK Tech Short Throw Shifter Kit for the S13. This is gonna clean up a lot of the slop in that OEM shifter. It's gonna make it feel like you're basically driving a race car. So I'm gonna show you what's in the box and leave a link for everything below so you guys can pick it up for yourself. All right, so right out of the box, we got a new wave washer that's gonna prevent some leaks in the car. A new circlip and grub nut. I'll show you guys exactly where this goes. We can talk about it later. This is the shift boot mount. It's nice, one solid piece of aluminum. That's where your grub nut's gonna go. This is where you're gonna zip tie the shift boot so it doesn't have any slob or play in it. And the shift mount, again, one solid piece of aluminum. This is actually a really nice piece. All the beveled edges are perfect. It keeps the OEM set up for the mount, so that's really cool. Not a lot of change means that there's not gonna be a lot of issues. This is our shift knob lever. Um, nice, solid brass bushing for crisp shifts. It's all one solid piece of what I think is aluminum as well, but it feels a little bit heftier than that. But it's one piece, so no rattles or anything like that. Don't know what that is. I think this piece is actually gonna slide something like that. So I still don't know what this is. This piece here is gonna be going inside of our mount just like that. That is an OEM cup socket. Uh, GK Tech normally offers this in their kit, but they were on back order and we needed a video right now, right now. So I just went down to my local Nissan dealership because we couldn't wait any longer on back ordered parts. Now you don't need to replace this part, but while we're in there, I think we should just because it's 30 year old plastic and it's just better to refresh it. I think it was like 25 bucks out the door. We got our brand new shift boot insulation this is going to help keep dirt and debris from getting inside. And the main reason why we bought the kit was just because of the sticker. Does that look good? But anyways, let's get into this install right now. Now, with this car, from third to fourth, a full seven inches of throw. Besides the amount of absolute rowing, we're also gonna avoid a lot of the slop. So hopefully this new shifter is gonna fix all of our issues. Let's get into it. Okay, so now the interior on the S13 is incredibly brittle and old, so we're gonna try our best not to break it. I'm not trying to get an LRB center console because those look like trash, no offense. So we got our nice plastic trim removal tool. We're just gonna shove it down in here and pray that that nothing breaks. Jeez, that's scary. I don't want to fucking snap it. Woo! And we'll take off our OEM shift knob. Come on. Come on, baby. Ooh, crusty. Set that out of the way and take this all off. Is that a zip tie? No, we're good. Yeah, that was easy. So now we're just gonna take out the center console. Just a couple Phillips screwdrivers all over the place. <laughs> now it looks like we got two screws here, two on the outer side. So let's just start disassembling this. No way this is already loose. Is that, that's all? Wow, 90s cars are freaking awesome. So damn easy. Alina, I need help. Get it, Alina. God, piece of shit. So it wasn't too hard to uninstall. Yeah, now we can take off these bad boys. It just sounds like crap. All right, so I'm gonna get some pliers and take off that zip tie, pull off the uh, nasty shift boot. Oh god, I got dirt in my eye! Flung it right into it. That's trash now. Now we're gonna take off the C-clip. So I'm gonna hold the pick down because I don't have the right tool today. I'm just trying to bend this C-clip out of the way so we can disassemble the rest of it. Ah, oh. ah oh, ha ha. Here we go. Yeep! Yeep, 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 yeep. I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah! This don't come out or what? Oh, you didn't see nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here. All right, and with just that, pulls right out. It's honestly not that bad. It's just really old. In our Miata, it was falling apart, but this is like, it's just old. That's, that's really it. Now with the 12 mil, we're gonna take the top side of the transmission mount off. 
and there's gonna be two actually hidden all the way up there. Stupid design, but we got the tool for it. Now all the way down in the corner over there, we can see that there's two bolts. We're gonna get that with a ratcheting wrench. This does have a flex head. This is off gear wrench, and I'm gonna actually leave a link below for you guys to go check it out if you wanted to pick one up. It's not snap-on or anything like that, but it is a good budget brand to use. Oh, that one hurt. <sighs> yep. So now if your trans tunnel isn't like chopped up because of another short shifter install, don't be a shitty 240 owner and chop it. Grab a pry bar and use this to pry against and you're just gonna lift that section of metal up so that you're able to get the screws out. This isn't all chopped up and it just looks a lot cleaner. So now we're gonna actually take all that old gasket off the top side there, scrape it off, clean it up, and put some uh, sealant on. Also, stuffed away in the side here, there is a big spring, don't lose that thing. So we got all the gasket scraped off, we actually sanded down the entire face here, so it's all nice and smooth, and now we're gonna ruin it by putting some RTV all on it. This thing is so nice, I really, I wish we bought an OEM gasket for it, but it's too late right now. This hurts to do. You know, for a schmuck like me, pretty clean lines. You freaking schmuck. All right, I'm just gonna spread it. Twirlet. God, I hate doing this. It looks pretty okay. Yeah, it's not It's not bad. Okay, we got our short nuts on the top side now. Hopefully we don't have any issues. And we're just gonna slide this bad boy right in. All right, so everything's on there good and tight. And now we're just gonna snug up all the bolts. So we got our wave washer here. Just gonna set that in. And then we have our OEM cup socket. Drop that in. And then we grabbed our shifter and we just dunked it in a vat of strawberry jam. We're gonna throw that right on down as well. Yeah! Oh God. Yeah, look how sweaty we are. Look at us. That took over an hour. We had to sand it down. I guess we looked it up and they do make this brass bushing. Too big. The yeah. tolerance is way too tight. Yeah. That was a fucking nightmare. Okay, next step. We got our little ring here. We're gonna throw the tapered side down. Now we can fight our circlip to get this on. I know it's gonna be a pain, so. If you do have them, get some circlip pliers. It's really gonna help out, make this job a lot easier. Yeah, circlip pliers would be really nice right now. Oh my God, oh my God. Ah. All right, this shifter install is literally kicking our ass. We're bleeding, everyone's hurt. Look, I stuck a screwdriver all the way through my nail, and but we mar we managed to mar up the uh, nice new shifter. Huh? Pretty nice, we marred it up. The snap ring is in. So. Now we can move on to the freaking next step and we lost our grub nut. So now we can cover everything up and never see it again. There's an arrow facing for front. There we go. Now we can slide this shift boot mount on and where the grub nut's gonna go right in there, it's gonna sit in this channel here. You know, I will throw a zip tie on the bottom side though. Now we can slide the OEM center console back on and plug in these goddamn wires. In a bad mood. I hate it. I love it. Okay, screws go in. Oh man, that is so short. Oh, actually, I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, it feels way better than OEM. It feels notchier for sure. But... It feels way notchy. The input is really good. Like when it actually goes into gear, that feels good. But the throw is like OEM, or at least it seems like it. Where's the measuring tape? It's about... Yeah, before it was like over at the eight. It was at the seven, it's seven inches. Yeah, five and a half. That's honestly pretty good. So... I'm gonna say that's a win. It's about half. Yeah, it's about half. So the nice thing, while in gear, it's only giving about maybe half an inch of play, and that's really, really trying to like force it out. Technically, it's a win. But anyway, let's go out and take it on the road, see if we actually like it. If this was worth all the pain. So I'm trying to do this review as fast as possible so the car doesn't die, because it is really running very bad right now. But just getting out of the driveway, that reverse shift felt good coming out of gear do not mention anything about me raw dogging these pedals that is just what i do when i wear sandals it feels short 
it's firm and direct. It doesn't feel super race oriented like the IRP. Doesn't feel cheap like an eBay. It feels like OEM plus and that's the perfect way to describe it I think. It's not too short to where it's like oh yeah now I really got a short shifter. It's like it's just noticeable enough to be like yes it's a short shifter it's upgraded. It is a little bit notchy not in a bad way. This has no issue going into gear which is nice. It does feel really nice though I don't know how many times I gotta say that. One thing that I think that can be improved though and that's not on the factory shifter it's more of just the car itself. Shifter springs, this has the option to upgrade them and we did not do that because I wanted to see if this would just fix the issue. And obviously it did somewhat, but I know it will be improved once we get those springs. But anyways, do I think this install was worth it? I'm gonna say yes because the old shifter was so bad. This kit was, I don't know. I know it was under $300. For $300, I would have bought this. You can't go wrong with it. It's just, it's OEM plus. I think it's slightly notchier in the good way. And I think if we were to add the shifter springs, this would have been, that would have tied it all together. Anyways, if we can do it, you guys can too. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or shoot us a DM on Instagram at 86 goals you see all the behind the scenes footage over there if you're new here hit that subscribe button it really helps out the channel a ton we'll see you next monday new uploads every monday so uh stay tuned take it easy